Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create 3D rotating text in DaVinci Resolve 16.2.6. Inside your edit window, go to effects library, underneath toolbox, select effects, and go to find fusion composition. Left click and drag this to the start of your timeline. Inside your media pool, Left click on the box which appears in the bottom right corner of the timeline thumbnail to reveal the clip attributes. We can see that each second of this fusion composition clip comprises of 24 frames. This clip also lasts for 5 seconds. The duration and frame rate data will help us determine later on in this tutorial where to apply animation effects to on our project timeline. With the selection mode, which you can also select by pressing A, select the end of the edit and drag to change the size if you wish. Right click on your fusion composition once you are satisfied with the length and go to open in fusion page. Inside your nodes panel, hold shift and press space. Use the search box at the bottom of the select tool window which appears to find text 3D. Select this tool and go to click on add. With the text 3D1 node selected, press shift and space again. And this time go to find the merge 3D tool. With the merge 3D1 node selected, press shift and space again. And go to add the renderer 3D tool. Select the grey box to the right of Renderer 3D1 and drag your mouse cursor to the yellow arrow next to Media Out 1. Select Text 3D1. Go to Inspector. Underneath Text, type in the message that you want to have appearing inside the Style Text box. Font will remain as Open Sans and with a bold style. I'm going to change the colour of my text to blue. To preview your text in a 3D mode, click and hold your mouse button on the text 3D1 node and drag your cursor up to the preview window underneath Media Out 1, letting go of your mouse button once your cursor is inside the preview window. Select Rotate and click on the coloured circles to change the angle of your 3D text in your preview. Back inside the inspector window, scroll down to extrusion. Left click on the arrow next to this label. Increase extrusion depth to 0 0.08. Twisting the green circle to the right in the preview window once again we can see that an increase in the extrusion depth results in the text expanding from the front and at the back. However, it is difficult to distinguish some of the letters and edges. Select your Renderer 3D1 node and underneath Controls and Lighting, click in the box next to Enable Lighting. We will use a lighting technique so that the edges and letters become more distinguishable. Select your Merge 3D1 node, hold Shift and press Space, and search for Directional Light. Go to Add This. Disconnect the Directional Light node from your Merge 3D1 node by left clicking once on the green line in the half closest to the green arrow next to Merge 3D1. Click on the grey box next to Directional Line 1 and drag this to the pink arrow which appears next to Merge 3D1. Click and drag your Media Out 1 node to either of the two preview windows at the top of your Fusion window. Go back to Text 3D1. Scroll down to Extrusion. Increasing the bevel depth expands the letters outwards from the face and the rear side of the letters. Increasing bevel width expands the letters horizontally and vertically. Increase bevel depth to 0 
and increase bevel width to 0.02 also. Choose Transform. Reset the rotation coordinates by clicking on each of the small grey circles which appear underneath the tabs for X, Y and Z. So that the text is in its default position and facing the viewer. To demonstrate how the directional light can be altered on your text, I'm going to do a slight Y rotation. Select your directional light node. Underneath Inspector for directional light, underneath Controls, choose the colour that you wish for your light to be. In this case here, I will stick with white. To change the direction where the light shines on the text, select Transform. Changing the X rotation variable adjusts the lighting position around the top, the sides and the bottom of your text. Adjusting the Y rotation variable adjusts the lighting position between the front and the back of your text. Go back to Text 3D1. I'm going to reset the rotation values so that the text is facing the viewer. Select your directional light node. For this particular example, I'm going to keep the directional light positioned in the middle of the text here. Note how when I adjust rotation X here, the white light seems to shift up and down, and when Y is rotated, the white light shifts to the sides. Now to create the rotation. As previously mentioned, each second in this animation will comprise of 24 frames. I wish for my animation sequence to complete a full rotation of 360 degrees by 2 seconds. I'm currently at the first frame of my animation sequence, 0.0. .0. Go back to Text 3D1. To adjust the position of your 3D text at any time, go to Inspector, select Layout, and adjust the center X and Y coordinates. Y for vertical positioning and X for horizontal. To centralize the text more, I'm going to set center Y to 0.3. An inspector underneath transform again. Go to the rotation options and click on the keyframe diamond icon next to rotation Y, which is currently set to 0.0, .0 with the text in its default position. Now I'm going to jump forward by two seconds on my timeline. In this case here, it will be at frame 47. Underneath Inspector again, for rotation Y, change this value to 360. To create multiple rotations, return to your Edit window. With the Selection Mode tool, I'm going to drag my red playhead to the two second mark where my rotation sequence ends. Select the Blade Edit Mode, which you can also do by pressing B. Left click on the red line below the red playhead to make a trim. Choose the Selection Mode again. Select your trimmed 2 second Fusion Composition clip with the rotation. Hold Ctrl and press C to copy. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. And with the red playhead still positioned at the end of your 2 second rotation sequence, Hold Ctrl and press Shift and V to paste Insert. I will repeat this process one more time so that I have three rotations in my animation and the last three seconds show the text in static form. Your 3D text fusion composition clips can also be placed above other media edits on your current timeline with the transparent background. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.